Wayne Glenn, it's my pleasure to talk about the Pfizer mill and the history of the area here. We're on basically on old Mount Vernon Street. This is the original road that went between Ozark and Mount Vernon, Missouri, starting back in the 1830s, 1840s, 1850s, long before Nixon existed. But one of the first people, one of the first pioneers or settlers in Nixa in the very early years of the founding of the area was uh, a Mr. Stiffler, Albert Stiffler. And he and his family came here in the 1860s, maybe around 1870, right after the Civil War. And he bought property, the property that I'm standing on, the Wiser Mill, his land that was owned and believed to be originally settled by Mr. Stiffler and his family. And he owned the land until he died, basically. And then members of his family, over time, chopped the land up like people have done in the Ozarks. And uh, one of the uh, son-in-laws of Albert Stiffler was a guy named James Half Barber. And Mr. Barber uh, was married to Mr. Stiffler's daughter, Dora. And uh, I believe mean, that's correct. And they, the Barbers, lived in an old house that was here on this property after Mr. Stiffler was gone. Even in the 1950s, the house stood on this property. About the time that Mr. Barber passed away, Barney Weisman, who was a native of the Nixa area, he and his wife Lois bought some of the land I'm standing on. And Barney, in 1956, built this mill. Through the years, he expanded upon it, built stages of development, more and more uh, land was covered by roofs and things like that. And Barney had a great reputation. He had been a trucker, because he'd been a farmer, but also a trucker, trucking people's cattle and things like that. And so when he opened the business in 1956, the Wiseman Mill immediately became a, really a landmark of Nixa and remained that even until now.